spring has finally come. It's too warm to have a tea, so I've got a little organic ginger beer. It's actually alcoholic as well, um, which is a touch. Um, but yeah, so I've tried to do this video three times, but wind has just blown into the speaker every time, and I've gone to edit it, and it's just ruined the video completely. So. I've done a little YouTube how I can attach the phone with a little elastic band to the speaker so hopefully block out a bit of the, bit of the noise um, but yeah guys what really just doing a general vlog um, of what I've been up to and where I've tried to do this video is going to be little snaps of other days from being at the allotment um, just like uh, step by step on how I done a bed of nasturgeums I believe they are, oh, I never get this right, but edible flowers that I've got an idea that these guys are going to be tumbling out of my insect hotel uh, that I built the previous year, which I'm still yet to like completely finish to make it a little look a lot better. But the design I've gone with is because we've got beehive over in that corner of the allotment. So I'm thinking that the bees can fly across, pollinate everything in my beds um, and as they'll be attracted by the edible flowers and also my second plot over the back it just brings them that way um, and that's a bit of uh, permaculture design um, so we're using a, that as a vocal point for the bees so they'll come across the plot, pollinate everything and then we are go time for getting an abundance of vegetables because everything will be planted so um, so for example like if I've got courgettes in the courgette male flower will get pollinated and they'll go between the male flower to the female flower on the actual head of the courgette once that's pollinated it will grow uh, just an example if you didn't know if you're a beginner gardener um, but yeah so this week I've Oh, where the weather has just been bliss and it's going to be so bliss this week like mid to late 20s which I'm buzzing about because I can get over here get on get a little bit of vitamin D get a tan have a beer cheeky beer after work um, but yeah so I've been getting planting in I'm liking the look of the greenhouse as well at the minute so I put a little reflector on the back to like uh, bounce the heat off generate a bit more heat in here I mean I've not exactly finished the bottles yet but got the blue tack just to, um, not blue tack, um, bubble wrap just finish that back bit just to keep the heat within the greenhouse so it doesn't blow out um, but look like man these guys have shot up within like four or five days I'm super buzzing about that got purple cow um, the coriander hasn't come up yet but that's more a I think it's more of a I think Mediterranean don't really know where coriander's from. I'll check that out, but I think that's why they've not come up yet. They might need the, uh, the soil to be, get a little bit warmer, but that will happen this week if it gets into the late 20s, as it said. We've got beetroot, uh, we've got mixed lettuce, but within that, as I said, like I've chopped and changed this vlog about a bit, so we'll, within the video, I'll show you like how I just was planting them, my little like little set up, got a little potting table, uh, told you about my mixture, how I put the seeds out, like re always reference to a book, but you'll see that in the video. Um, my potatoes, I need to plant out ASAP really, because these guys, look at them, they look like little avatars, I think they look well cool. I've never actually done potatoes yet, but I wanted to do purple potatoes just just through, uh, just to see them. I think they would just be look a lot cooler as well, plus I like the taste. Um, purple potatoes and I really want to do sweet potatoes so I'm going to look into doing that as well um, purely because I, I eat loads of sweet potato and I think it'd be really cool to try and grow in the UK I know it's really hard just through the temperature but I've got a feeling I can make it happen so so why not got some cucumbers got some zucchini I'm gonna plant a load more out today like maybe sweet corn and stuff but um, yeah I just want to like now we've got the weather, now I can get everything out and I think we can speed it all up as well because we had such a like deep, deep winter where it just was so long, so cold this year. Um, but yeah, so pretty much that's, you're gonna see loads of little bits of videos within this vlog. 
Uh, so excuse me for like chopping it up. I'm gonna be like probably repeating myself a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's like pretty much this today's vlog in a nutshell. Um, I'm gonna be, as I keep saying, I'm gonna knock out more videos because of the weather, blah, blah, blah. But now the weather is better and I'm here a lot more so I can get, I've got like a few hours after work so I can do a few more videos. As I said on Instagram, I was like, do I do more vlogging or how to uh, parts of the video? But pretty much, I'm just gonna do me. The how to kind of comes with it. So there'll be like my general vlogging and then there'll be like how to uh, do peas in guttering, which is um, which I've done last year, worked really well. Um, I'm going to show you my potato, how I'm going to do the potatoes. And I've seen people doing them in buckets. Oh, so windy. I hope this little gadget's working so I can edit this video properly um, and it doesn't annoy you guys too much. It proper annoys me when I edit it. All I can hear is just the wind and it's just oh, it's annoying. But right, so. These things, scaffold yards, gum tree, boot sales, they're everywhere. Um, I see them on building sites all the time, but the hinges, they look like this, they come like that, fold out like this, and I'm going to put, so stack this up four higher, I reckon, three higher until they get a bit bigger, add a bit more soil in so they grow more, that's how uh, you do potatoes, but I'm going to add a door here, and I'm thinking that Later on in the season, when they're ready to harvest, I just open that door and just pull all the potatoes out. I think it's going to work. I don't know, you might be sceptical, but I'm going to give it a go. I'm dead sure it's going to work. So I think that would be a really cool way of like, those things are everywhere. You can upcycle them really easily. So if it does work, really wicked idea. And I'll probably do like probably put it on Pinterest for other people to do as well but um yeah so kind of that's this little vlog in a nutshell you'll watch the other clips that I've been doing the last few days I was out on my bike again like road here with a few beers uh, some soil everything like that um yeah just kind of getting there now guys it's like it's, it's only April we've got a long summer ahead it's just the start of it and pretty excited now so I reckon we're gonna see a lot a lot of change and I'll, that's why I, I kind of started these vlogs in the winter so you're seeing it at its worst and you're seeing the infrastructure and how we get to the stage of pure abundance in the summer and just trying little hacks and little ideas I see that I can implement here and kind of inspire anyone else to do the same um, that's why I'm doing this channel really so yeah guys right I'm gonna definitely 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 do uh, another video I'm gonna do a how-to video on the potato plant now plant this uh, peas and gutter in and they're gonna be like two little small vlogs but like look forward to them um, I really hope this little phone works otherwise this video is null and void I know the bottles are annoying it's actually pretty windy today so it's really testing it look if you can hear that i'm sorry but yeah guys end of the vlog today so let's give it. Yo, yo, yo. cheers